today's nugget section will cover a stock called navneet education which i bought last week and i want to highlight a very important aspect on how to read the eps specifically the ttm eps how it impacts the stock prices for small companies just after a good result and after one year when the good result quarter is out Hi everyone welcome to the update of 12th august today indian market totally disregarded the hindenburg report last time it created a havoc today also we started with a gap down but very soon market recovered though there was a dip towards later part of the day now my readings may not be making a lot of money for me but couple of things that i mentioned on friday i said ola is all set to cross 100 today also they hit an upper circuit 109 actually i was saying 100 plus also in the nugget section on friday i had mentioned that government will have to revise the way they measure inflation to tame inflation today the announcement came that government will actually be revising the way they measure inflation not just inflation but a lot of other economic indicators now money control published a very interesting statistic today this is the complete list of Adani group of companies. The guys have invested 41,800 worth of investor money in the Adani group companies. This is approximately $4.5 billion. Now, while this is a good group, the problem is that it is highly leveraged. There is a lot of debt, slightest bit of problem, and this would create havoc. And I believe continuous investment keeps on happening in this group as and when DIS get fresh money every month via the SIPs. Now last week we hardly see, saw this pattern, we were only going one way on most days. Today the pattern was back. The insurance sector bled today. I'll tell you the reason for that. The reason for the euphoria in metal and mining was primarily Hindustan Zinc because it is expected that Hindustan Zinc will be giving a wonderful dividend once again. And in India, people love dividends. That is why this stock was up 3.5%. In general, besides Bharat Forge, each and every stock was up. This is perhaps to do with the announcement for the railway sector. A lot of new projects have been announced and most of them require a significant amount of metal. Now the reason LIC fell perhaps is because LIC is among the largest DIs. They invest in the Dani group. Overall, the sector was down only each and every stock nearly down anywhere between 1 to 2%. Nifty started with a gap down, went up, came down again, went up significantly, then came down, then consolidated in a very small range. But finally, in the last one hour, it cracked and cracked a lot. And it was still volatile even the closing half an hour or so. Bank Nifty was mimicking Nifty today. Though Reliance was also down a bit. However, mostly banks were deciding how both Bank Nifty and Nifty will look today. So overall, actually Nifty did not go anywhere. While Bank Nifty was up a little 0.2%, Nifty IT also did not go anywhere. I'm shooting a bit early today. So FI and DI data is not out yet. I would expect FIs to have sold a lot today. Anywhere between 5-6,000 crore. DIs would have soaked in all the supply. Nifty Energy today was down a lot. Nifty Next 50 also down half a percent. Defense cracked today, BDL's results were not good at all. Overall, the sector was down 0.75%. Now, two sides of the same coin, retail inflation eased to 3.5% in July. This is the lowest in five years, which is beautiful news. This is not yet because of the change in the way inflation will be measured. That will come probably in three months time. Industrial production in June fell to 4.2%. Now, a lot of people may not see it kindly tomorrow in the stock markets, but this was known. The government spending came down significantly in Q1 because of the elections. So industrial production has to go down. This has reflected in LNT shares also. Government has said quarterly jobs data will be available from September and monthly unemployment data is likely from January. This will make a lot of sense if there are actions coming out of it and those actions are actually taken. The greed reduced actually today compared to Friday. 22 out of 36 sectors were down today. The substantial gains were there in only two stocks, Infosys and HDFC. Gold has crossed 70,000 finally and silver also had some gains, 81,500 is breached. All the ADRs are looking good, Bitcoin is up 2%, Brent has moved up, INR has actually not gone anywhere yet again. Nasdaq was partying on Friday, in fact it was up for 3 out of 5 days last week. There were hardly any patterns, most of the stocks were reflecting what Nifty said, Infosys was up after the recovery. And it didn't go down. ICIC also remained up. Reliance, however, was choppy. TCS also fell a lot towards the end. Banking mostly was a hump. Most stocks went up and then corrected a bit. SBI corrected significantly. PNB was also down. Bank of Baroda down. SBI was the only big bank down for the main reason that SBI also is a large DAI. They invest a lot in the Dani group of companies. 
So I would attribute the fall in LIC and SBI today to the commotion in the Adani Group stocks today. Now I have brought in the 52 week high as a number or percentage. HDFC Bank is 8% away from 52 week high. ICICI Bank is 7% away from the 52 week high. Bajaj Finance however is 25% away. So is IRFC. Even Jio has fallen 20% from its 52 week high. BDL bad results it fell a lot 6%. Most of the defense stocks gave up their gains just like the banking stocks towards the end of the day. Our volumes were pretty shallow in the larger stocks. Look at the distance from 52 week high air. HL is 20% away from its 52 week high. BEL 13%, Musgaon Dock 18%, Solar Industry 30%, Cochin Shipyard 30%, BDL 33.5%, GRSC 41%. Here is Hindustan Zing going up as soon as the expectation for a big dividend was known to everyone. Vedanta is a beneficiary that will also go up. Railway stocks, a lot of announcements came over the weekend. A lot of new projects are announced. And I had mentioned that after the budget, lot of projects will be announced in infra space, road space, railway space, defense space outside the budget. That is happening now. In the last three or four days, we have had major announcements in the road and highway space as well as railway space. Look at RVNL. Suddenly people who sold will be looking back whether they should buy now or wait for a correction. This will be the zone of uncertainty for most people who would want to come back but the stock would be way higher than they saw last week. IT sector was totally undecided, Infosys was up, rest everyone was down. Volumes continue to be very shallow for the IT stocks. Adani pack was all over the place today, totally undecided, people were not sure whether to sell or buy. Overall Adani energy was down 4% but the overall pack actually did not crack much corresponding to the report that came over the weekend. In the oil space, Reliance was down a percent. Oil India continued the journey up. ONGC continued the journey up. That too, big numbers. The volumes in the oil pack were good. The consumption pack was down a lot today. But the inflation cooling down news should be good because raw metal prices will go down and no benefit obviously comes to the consumer back. So the profitability of the consumption pack goes up. The biggest of them all, HUL is just 2.3% away from the 52 week high. Automobiles, Tata Motors and Maruti were up today. Mahindra and Mahindra, Bajaj, Aichar were down. Beverages corrected severely. The sector was down 2%. Varun Beverages continues to go down. It is suddenly 15% away from the 52 week high, which it made on the result day. In the chemical space, Asian Paints is 12% away from 52 week high. Pedialyte 7.5%. Coal India is nearly at 52 week high, though it was down today. Look at RVNL 11% up today. The sector was up 1.2%. That's because LNT was down and that is the largest stock. ACC was down, Ambuja was up, Ultratech and Grassim did not go anywhere in the cement pack. Adani Enterprises was down 1%, Trend continues to go up 1.7%. Home building sectors came for a severe beating today, Astral Pipes was down 5%. Investment banking was mixed bag, HDFC asset management was up, Nippon was down. PSC is suddenly looking 27% away from the 52 week high. Tata Investment is down 63% from its recent high. The 52 week one. Real estate was up a lot. Macrotech 4.3%. Suzlon continues to go up 5% today also. This sector is seeing phenomenal volumes. Adani Ports was down 2% in transport infrastructure. Nifty 50, 27 stocks down, 23 up. Infosys, ONGC, HDFC, Access Bank, JSW Steel that were taking Nifty up. Reliance, TCS, SBI, NTPC, Adani Ports were dragging Nifty down. Next 50 also 29 stocks down, 21 up. Gale, Trent, Adani Green, Vedanta, Shiram Finance were taking the index up. I stayed out of the market, did not do anything. There was no point in joining the speculation till there is clarity which way markets are going up or going down. I personally felt it is better to stay out. In today's Nugget Learning, I want to highlight a very specific case of Navneet Education. How to read EPS, not just for current quarter and maybe predicting for next 3-4 quarters. So this is a stock that I bought last week because I thought results will be good. And as soon as the results came, it shot up like anything. Closed 6% up for the day. And this stock is still not very expensive in terms of PE ratio. Now what happened today was there was an extraordinary item. Look here, EPS of 31 compared to 8, nearly 4x EPS. The income is same, the expenses slight dip, profit and loss before exceptional items slight up because there is a reduction in cost. Note this numbers are in lakhs not crores, it is a small cap company. Tax is very high because the exceptional items had a tax demand also. 
एंड दिस इज द एक्सेप्शनल आइटम सिक्स सिक्सटी करोड़ दिस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू अ फैंटास्टिक नंबर इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रॉफिट एज वेल एज ई पी एस नो वट एपन वॉज दे डाइवर्सिफाइड देयर टेक इन वन ऑफ द सब्सिडरीज सोल्ड इट ऑफ मोनिटाइज एंड दैट लेट टू एन एक्सट्रॉर्डनरी प्रॉफिट नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू हाईलाइट लेट्स एड दीज फोर नंबर थर्टी वन थर्टी थ्री अप्रॉक्सिमेटली थर्टी फोर समथिंग प्रायर टू दिस नंबर सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव एट लेस हाफ एड टू अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टेन सो दीज फोर क्वार्टर द ई पी एस वॉज टेन नाउ सडनली वी आर लुकिंग एट अ वे हायर ई पी एस दिस रिफ्लेक्ट इन टी टी एम नेक्स्ट फोर क्वार्टर दिस टी टी एम नंबर विल रिमेन समथिंग लाइक अ थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स एंड एवरी क्वार्टर इट विल लुक लाइक अ बिग विन फॉर द कंपनी दिस मे टेक द स्टॉक अप सिग्निफिकेंटली इन टर्म्स ऑफ पी वॉट विल हैपन इज आफ्टर फोर क्वार्टर इन द जून रिजल्ट नेक्स्ट ईयर देर विल बी नो एक्सट्रॉर्डनरी आइटम सडनली द ई पी एस विच वॉज थर्टी वन हेयर विल बिकम एन ऑर्डनरी ई पी एस से सिक्स और सेवन रुपीज मे बी एट नाइन रुपीज बिकॉज ऑफ द नॉर्मल ऑर्गेनिक ग्रोथ एट दैट स्टेज सडनली इट विल लुक लाइक द कंपनी इज डूइंग वेरी बैड वेल देर इज नथिंग बैड एट दैट स्टेज द स्टॉक विल स्टार्ट करेक्टिंग सिवियरली for about 2 to 3 quarters the pe will go down this is what typically happens in a small case space when the eps suddenly goes up or down 4x 5x most investors are not able to make up for this difference they feel that the company has done something marvelous now the money they have taken out from the sale of the subsidiary they can do wonders with it eventually over next one or two years the normal eps growth may be also fantastic only but that will depend how they utilize the money hope this information was useful and let's see how this stock does over the next few days i continue to hold the stock i hope it goes up only